first down. Watkins. Over the middle complete. It's Leonard. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the end routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> and he's got it. They get 10 more there, and I believe that'll be enough for another first down at will. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Now a carry for the former Michigan State man, Le'Veon Bell. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. So back-to-back -back big runs, picking apart this defense on the opening drive. I thought this was a passing league. I thought this was the era we were in where the ball was always in the air, right? They didn't get the memo. They didn't get the memo, and I know this to be true. Offensive linemen still, to this day, they want to run the football. They want to fire out and hit people across the line of scrimmage, and they're clearing space. Looking to throw on second down. Watkins caught left side by Funches. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 11 more yards there, and this methodical drive continues. Cut. They go play action here on first down. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Another big gainer that time. This one goes for 19 yards. The first red zone opportunity for the Panthers thus far. They've got a first and 10 at the 17. Back to the ground attack here is McCaffrey. And he'll be stopped after a gain of only a couple down to the 15-yard line. But we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! Flex round! To throw on second down, Watkins. That's Samuel caught left side. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. That catch good for five. It's third down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. From the gun on third down, Watkins. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the Saints. And he'll return it to the 24-yard line. A bad third down mistake there. Points were already on the board in their mind. And that's the worst part about it, right? Because it's just like in golf. Never count it in the cup until it rolls in there. Otherwise, you can really get messed up with your scores. In this case, you know they thought, hey, at least three, maybe even a chance to get six. It's a little bit demoralizing going off the field now that you've turned it over and you come up empty. Yeah, if he holds on to that, at least the field goal on fourth down, now they lose it. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Try and start this drive in the air. 
And incomplete on the deep ball. The target that time, Michael Thomas. And it's second down. And this pass defense, they were sensational in the win last week, and they're looking good here so far in this first quarter. You know, we often talk about how offenses get locked in, and that runs over multiple games where they're really, you know, in that zone. Defenses can be the exact same way, and I think we're seeing an example of it here. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. On second down, Kamara. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Calling no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. The threat of a second straight punt to start the game is looming as they come up third and ten. He'll drop to throw. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. So instead of giving them another third down, they'll decline it, brings up four. Now that's smart football right there. You don't even have to really spend a lot of time considering it. Just know that you're probably going to get the ball back. Good job declining that penalty. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And that's what friends are for. Right. <laughs> As the returner, you know who you're buying dinner for later. Oh, without a doubt, because he just took care of you and your team in a big way. You know, you turned it over there. That's a big momentum changer and put your defense in a bad spot. The drive begins with a run by McCaffrey. And he'll find some room to get this up to about the 14. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play call to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Cut. Off the play fake. Watkins. And he'll dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he's going to lose yardage here back to the 14-yard line. It'll go as a loss of a yard, and it'll set up third down. That was well defended, and while it was a completion, it resulted in a loss of yardage. It's really, really hard for a running back to think to himself, I probably should have just dropped it and saved the yardage. It goes against the entire training that he's had his whole career. Cut. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And yeah, take it right at the 35. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. It's Saints four. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice. So they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? Pitch out to Kamara. And he stopped immediately there. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker, and what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. 
But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. Back to throw now on second and ten. This is caught at the eight. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A good pick up there of 20 yards. A first opportunity upcoming in the red zone for the Saints. They've got it first and goal at the six. Detroit! Detroit! He'll look to throw. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. They'll look to throw. The quick slant caught. They'll wind up getting seven on the completion, but they'll still be faced now with a third and goal situation. Slant route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Camara. And he is in for the score. Touchdown, New Orleans. A great play there. His sixth touchdown of the season. And the Saints are able to cash in for six. Lutz now to kick this one away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And the decision to bring it out will cost him about five yards as he'll get this only back to the 20. Now the Panthers offense, they get set to come back onto the field. And it's been a rocky start for them thus far. They had the turnover and then the punt on those first two drives. So there is optimism because they've improved, right? <laughs> turnover, you just noted it punt's on the first better. drive. Punt's better than the turnover. Oh, the punt is better on the second one. Now they're hoping to turn it into first downs and hopefully points. They start on the ground with McCaffrey. And he got blown up on that play. Back at the 20. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, you had to punt on your first drive, and on the first play of the second drive, you end up going backwards. I would dare say they need something good to happen right here, right now. Looking to throw on second down. Watkins. And that one got tipped, kind of threw everything off. It brings up third. Well, we've seen him catch a few passes out of the backfield in the first half, unable to connect on that one. Certainly seems like getting him the ball out of the passing game, though, is part of their game plan. It certainly is because he catches it well, creates a mismatch. He's going to cover him with a linebacker, a corner, a safety. They feel like he can win every battle. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, Watkins. Throwing right, and that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. This quarterback now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10. It's first down. Off play action. Watkins. A battle for it here, and this will be caught. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. Clock running under four to play now as they come up on first and 10.
Looking to throw. Watkins. And incomplete. An excellent play downfield. Should have been picked off, really. But second down instead. It's been my observation. There's been a nice variety of play calling defensively. You and I often talk about an offense's ability to keep a defense off balance with what they're doing. I think the converse has been true in this game. Yeah, I think you're right. They seem to have gone off tendency quite a bit, but only the second quarter, a lot of time to change things. On second down, McCaffrey. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. To throw on second down, Watkins. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. And he'll go down here at the 35-yard line. Nine yards on the pickup there, and it keeps the drive alive. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. On first down, this is McCaffrey. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. The tackle is made by Cameron Jordan. Nice job there defensively to clamp down because really, They've been on their heels this drive. Agreed, and they really needed that one for confidence, just to feel a little bit better. But I don't know if I would be daunted by them stopping me on one run. This drive has gone pretty well. I could come right back at them. McCaffrey with the first down and more. And finally taken down at the four-yard line. 31 yards there and a first down. And hey, we all know it's turned into a passing league in the NFL, but that doesn't mean people still don't like to run the football. When you run it that successfully, your offensive line is fired up. What they want to do each and every game is run block. Get out and smack some people. I would say go ahead and run it again. Two minutes to play here in the first half. We're back to New Orleans after this. They come out here in the eye. And they'll turn to a power game to try to get in. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Now here's a whistle as flags come in. And we'll check out the call. And that'll be accepted, of course, and that moves him back five. Things made a little more difficult after the false start as they try again on second and goal. Black round! Black round! Off the play fake, Watkins. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. The best quarterbacks that ever played the game all wanted to blend in with their teammates and be one of the guys. But sometimes you got to take modesty and put it aside. You're the franchise quarterback, the face of the team, and the guy that leads them to victory. You have to get down and protect yourself and not take hits like that. The crowd here in the Dome making things difficult. Third and goal. It's a quarterback sneak, and he takes it into the end zone for a Panthers touchdown. It's their quarterback, his ninth touchdown of the season, and the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. So we're right back where we started, all even as the kick's away. And a fair catch signaled for and taken successfully. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. And they had to wait a long time to get the football back. Probably not what you were hoping for when you got an offensive tummy. Agreed. What you were looking for is the defense get the ball back pretty quickly, right? Hoping for a three and out. So that didn't happen. You can't yell at your D for that. They've got to take care of their own business and reestablish themselves now that they're back on the field. The 
will come out throwing here to start the drive. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL, but if you drop the football, that position could get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot or running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. Line of scrimmage, again the 25, second and 10. Marty, Marty. The play action fake, they'll look to throw. He's got his man on the crossing route. And he's brought down after a very nice game. A really nice gain of 25 yards. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. This time for Smith, and it's intercepted. Picked off near the 44. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. That's when you ask the equipment guys to make sure they hold it for you after the game. If you play in the back seven on defense, that's part of your job, finding ways to take the ball away from the other team. Now, the first play of the drive there is incomplete. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion, kind of a muddle in the middle of the field where you can go make a play on the football. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Leonard. And now prior to this third and one, we're going to get a timeout here. As the stoppage will come with 23 seconds to go till halftime. The Panthers on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. Cut. Operating from the gun, Watkins. Throw left side, complete. That's Leonard. They get nine out of that one, and as a result, the drive continues. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. This quarterback now 12 of 16 thus far. It's first and 10. From the gun, Watkins. Looking for Funches, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Von Bell. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Nine seconds to play, likely the final snap of the first half as it's first and ten. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that will be incomplete. Four ticks left here on the clock. Thomas, the intended target. That'll bring up second down. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Go on, go on! Go on, go on! All right, now, look at 56. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to look deep down the field. And this one is incomplete. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. As we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Coach. Set and ready to go for the second half. One touchdown apiece. 7-7, seven, seven, our score. This is taken about seven yards deep. He's got daylight. He's at the 40. Past the 20. Touchdown, Carolina! As his guys are in for six, and his guys are able to strike for six. 
We've sat in a lot of meetings, and they always talk about the offense taking advantage of beginning a half. The special teams coaches don't listen to that. They want to take advantage with their own unit, and they just did. Yeah, they trailed in the locker rooms, and they changed that immediately. I think they drew that one up special. That felt like something he pulled out of his pocket that he'd been holding for a while, and they were able to use it effectively. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, no? I would agree with that totally. I would guess it in the locker room. They talked about cleaning up some of the errors, but overall I think they wanted to be positive with them. Guys, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up, and we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. They'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And they work this well upfield across the 45. That one goes for 24 yards. And after that completion, you can understand why so many teams in the league are emphasizing speed on defense at every position. The tight ends have created so many tough matchups now. If you can't run with a tight end as a linebacker, this is going to be the result every time. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll get across midfield and into Carolina territory. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secure before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. They'll set up to throw. Oh, look at Thomas wide open. A big gain of 38 there on third down. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that, have explosive plays, that's often the difference in winning and losing. Those types of plays that can knock a defense off balance, that'll drive a team towards a victory. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now a first down carry by Jones. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Maybe just a slight detour on what's been a strong drive. Here's second and 11. They'll look to throw here. That's caught. It's Thomas. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. The Saints on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and four. Back to throw here. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. In for the score. And the Saints are within an extra point of tying this thing up. I know a lot of coaches like to break their season into quarters. And how about the first four games for this guy? Three touchdowns scored, really making his mark in the red zone here in the first month of the season. 
This is taken about seven yards deep. And nice work on the return as he'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. Carolina getting set to take the field. First half showed us some pretty good offense. Tie game, we'll see what the second half brings. And it'll be interesting because I think both sides feel pretty good about what their offenses are doing. Got to wonder what adjustments are being made defensively to try and get a spark and maybe slow down the other side. But here, do you change up anything on this opening drive? Not offensively, you don't. You've got everything going your way. You've probably prepared for maybe some change-ups you might expect, but overall, you like what your game plan's showing you. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll try to get the running game going with McCaffrey. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs. But the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Looking to throw on second down. Watkins over the middle, complete to Samuel. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he takes it down to the 40 with a pickup of four. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. to the ground this time with Bell and he's taken down inside the 30. It's a 10-yard pickup and it moves the chains. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And he's gonna be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules. We can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some clock. McCaffrey, and he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. To throw on second down, Watkins. They'll drop it off to McCaffrey, and he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So many times you hear today's NFL described as a space game. Get your best players into space with the football in their hands. That's why sometimes you just swing it out to your runner, get him out in the flat, and let him have a chance to make people miss an open field. The Panthers on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and 11. And now whistles here and a flag down. Looked like someone got going a little early. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Cut. Operating. 
waiting for the gun. Watkins. He'll rifle this one deep right side. And almost picked off. I guess the good news for them now, it's fourth down. Hank's almost going to get him the QB 1-0 when he gets to the sideline. Already thrown an interception. That one should have been picked. Look, let's just be honest about it. That'd be the second person in his ear because he's hearing it in the huddle right now. Not the start to the game he wanted. Like you said, the pick on the opening drive, second drive, not much better. These kickers now, it used to be that a 50-plus yarder was cause for celebration, now seemingly automatic. Yeah, isn't it funny? When we prepare for a game, when you look at the backgrounds of these kickers, it's interesting, isn't it, to find out they were all-state quarterbacks, receivers, defensive backs, all-state wrestlers, right. right? Baseball players. We're finding athletes all along, and now they're just specialists putting it through the posts. on the ground with Camara, and he'll wind up with about six up past the 30 to the 31. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference as we know between second and four and second and eight and nine. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Now a first carry for their fullback. And not much of an opening there as he's only going to get this to about the 32. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. Trying to run for it. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Back now here live in New Orleans been a very hotly contested game to this point just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter Teams working on short rest, but this has been one of the better Thursday night games we've seen as they come up here on first and ten. They'll set up a throw. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. And a nice gain of 21 yards. A couple of first downs has the football position at the 43 as they come up first and 10. On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to air one out. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Good positioning and it's picked off. And he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. Oh, and that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air. And then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. On first and ten, Watkins looking left side and he's got a man. That's Cox. And brought down, but not before they're able to get it up to the 25. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Now a 
first down carry by Bell. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. They'll get nothing out of that one, and it's going to lead to a third down. The Panthers on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and nine. From the gun, Watkins. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play, and the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Let's Finish go. things off. That's the only way you can get it done. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Luke Keekley coming on the blitz. He gets him for a loss of seven. Charles, this one not over, certainly, but you set the magic number earlier in this game at 20 points, said that they would need to hold them right around that marker under it. Uh, what, what are you seeing here? Well, that, that number is still in play because we said, okay, 20 or under gives them a chance to win. Right on pace for being in that range. And guess what? They've got a shot. Looking to throw. Over the middle to Smith. And he'll be about a full yard shy of the 20 at the 19-yard line. And they'll get nine there as that sets him up better for third down. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do? You got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. Right, now, the interception the last Let's drive. The there set. he hits the reliable target. They'll drop the throw. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 17 yards on the pick up there and also a first down. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as... I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They'll look to throw here on first down. Thomas has got it, complete. Another nice gain, 16 yards there, and a first down again. It's a game of matchups, and that's why you take your receivers and move them around a bunch, especially your best guys. And when they work out of the slot, you often hear the coaches talk about how great it is because it gives you a two-way go. You can break out or you can break in. That makes it hard to defend. Now back to throw. He's going to wind up and air it out. That's caught inside the 20. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 32 that time. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Inside the red zone here, they'll look to throw. He's going to hit his man out of the backfield, complete. And all the way down inside the five to the four. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Only way to 
get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown. And that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. Back to throw again. And he'll take it into the end zone for the Saints touchdown. As his guys are in for six. And the Saints have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. I know we often laugh and sometimes we even exalt the guys who are great trash talkers and give us some really funny lines. But the bottom line is absolute production on the field. His second touchdown of the game, and they lead. And now they'll be looking to their defense to preserve that lead. And he'll wind up getting an extra couple yards here for his trouble as he'll bring this one out to the 27. Here are the Panthers now as their offense comes back out onto the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. And he'll out of bounds but able to get it up past the 45 this quarterback now perfect since the second half started seven of seven it's first and ten they'll run it now out of the gun and he'll be brought down right at midfield after a gain of only a couple they tried a quick hitter inside but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Looking to throw on second down. Watkins. And that's incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted. And if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. One of the bigger plays in the game thus far. The crowd getting into it as we come up on a big third down. And he gets it to Funches complete. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. And a big third down conversion with a gain of 28. Time for a break. We'll come back, see what transpires after this. Dump this off to his running back, McCaffrey. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts, and they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And yeah, nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. They'll say no gain on the play, and it'll be second and goal. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. In for the score. And the Panthers have taken the lead here in the fourth. Wow. I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Out onto the field comes New Orleans. They're down here in a one-score game. At the time, it's a factor, but it's not a huge factor right now, is it? It's really not because this amount of time gives them a chance to run their offense, to go through play sequences. And this is what they work on every week in practice, usually on a Friday. They go over this type of a situation, late-game situation. What are we going to do when we have the opportunity 
They've called these plays a bunch of times. Now's their chance to execute them. Yeah, they have the opportunity now. Here's the execution. First play of the drive, a success. 19 yards from up near the 40 now after the big play to start. Here's another first and 10. Back to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he'll be taken down inside Carolina's 15. It's a big play there for the Saints. And even 50 yards. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll look to throw. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however, and let's see what that's about. Only way to get the lead here, of course, with a touchdown, and that's what they're gunning for on first and goal. They come out here in the eye. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky. They'll try and run it in with Jones. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. A great effort there in the final minute. And the Saints have moved out in front here in the fourth quarter. But he will not be able to bring this one back in the extra point attempt unsuccessful. Oftentimes when you give up a touchdown, it's really a deflation for your entire unit. And the special teams crew, when they run out there, they still feel it. And maybe they don't go after it so much. Instead, they gave great effort there, blocked the extra point, and really gave them a lift after giving up the score. Yeah, gave up the touchdown, lost the lead, but a nice job to get in there and block it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. He'll look to throw. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. Work with me, partner. Take a deep breath, because that's what they're doing down the field now. That incompletion allowed them to exhale a little bit. Get in the huddle, kind of scan the crowd, see if any celebrities are here. Relax a little bit as they start this big drive. He's back to throw. And incomplete there, a nice hit. Jars the ball free and brings up third down. Tried to go for the big one there on second down. Now they're likely down to their final two plays. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing behind you. Make everything get completed in front. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. As it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the ball game. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. Throw left side complete. It's Cox. Now a final chance to stop it here as a timeout comes in with 10 seconds left in the game. Fourth down trailing in the fourth quarter. They felt compelled to go for it, and they got it. Well, I'd look down at my play sheet, and what I would find, plays have been successful throughout the game that have worked at the distance you need. That's exactly what they got done. It won't be a sack, but it's no gain, and it brings up second down. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. And while he did a good job of sliding around in the pocket, there was nowhere to go with the football, so he had to take off and try and run. He just got back to the line of scrimmage. No gain. One final shot. They'll look to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, Charles, a pretty exhilarating finish to the end of this ball game. At the end, the Hail Mary prayers, though, they went unanswered. Could have won it, but couldn't get it done. Almost felt schoolyard or playground, didn't it? Yeah, you, know, you remember when you called that play? Everybody just go long <laughs> and try and find someone open. They gave it a shot, but unable to successfully complete it. So for New Orleans, 
Hey, they finish a perfect month of September as they move to 4-0 on the new campaign. And they'll get a few extra days to savor this one before they take on the Philadelphia Eagles. Meanwhile, for the Panthers, they'll fall back to 500.